early payoff loans. Prepayment of a loan would be payment or payments made on a loan before the due date. The United States rule says a payment is first applied towards the interest owed, and then anything left on the payment is then reducing the balance. The rule of 78 is just an alternative to the United States rule. Okay? The unearned interest. When you have a loan, they calculate the finance charge, which is also another name for the interest, in the beginning to know how much interest is charged for the whole loan. If you make a prepayment or if you pay off your loan in full before the loan's due date, then there's unearned interest, interest that the bank didn't earn. And so this is interest that you don't have to pay. And that's the formula for how to calculate it. N stands for the number of payments remaining, the number of payments that you don't, aren't going to have to pay because you're paying early. Okay? And P stands for the number of original payments. Let's get started. Use the United States rule. Remember the United States rule says pay interest first and then you can reduce the loan balance. Okay. So we're gonna start here with just I equals PRT. And we're gonna calculate using our principal of $5,800, our rate of 12%. And then we're gonna take a partial payment on day 45 and remember, nothing was written down on exact interest, so we're going to use ordinary interest. I find that this gives us a value of $87 of interest that accrued during that first 45 days, and we have to pay that interest first. So that partial payment of $2,000 has to first pay the $87. And then there's $1,913 left that goes toward the principal. So our new principal is the amount we borrowed minus the money that we get to reduce the principal by. And that says that the loan is now $3,887. This is the new balance of the loan. And then we start again. We're going to find I equals PRT. And in this case, our P, the principal of our loan, is this new $3,887. Our interest rate is still 12%. And now we have to figure out how much time is left out of our 360. So to figure out how much time is left, well, we made the partial payment on day 45, and there were 120 days in the loan. So I'm going to take 120 days total for the loan minus the 45 that we already used in this first section. And I get that there's 75 days left in the loan. So this part of interest is going to occur in the next 75 days. I get an interest value of $97.18. So that means the balance due how much we still owe is the $3,887 plus that interest. And so our balance due is $3,984.18. The second part of the question asks for the total interest paid. So going back, let's take a look at, and I'm going to circle any interest that was paid. This interest was paid, and then over here we had this interest that needs to be paid. So our total interest is going to be to take the $87 from the first interest plus the second interest, $97.18, and I get a total interest of $184.18. Let's try a question similar to that with more than one payment. So question two says we have a principal of $37,000, an interest rate of 9%, but 
The whole loan is 105 days, and we're going to make two partial payments. Okay, so let's start. I equals PRT. Start with that loan of 37000 for our principal, our rate of 9%. And our time is going to be the 43 days out of 360 in a year. Calculating all this together, I get an interest rate, or excuse me, an interest amount of $397.75. We have to pay that first with our first payment. So the $8,500 payment has to first be applied to interest and what's left is the one that or excuse me eight thousand one hundred two dollars and twenty five cents this is the amount that goes towards principal to make your loan go smaller so if our loan was thirty seven thousand dollars we're reducing our loan by eight thousand one hundred two dollars and twenty five cents so our new loan balance is $28,897.75. And then we start again towards that second payment. So I equals PRT. I'm going to switch colors just to kind of keep it. There was the first one. Here's going for our second one. Our new principal is the $28,897.75. The rate was 9%, and our time we need to calculate, we're going from day 43 to day 88. And I end up getting 45 days. So 45 days out of 360. And that gives me an interest of $325.10. and I'm going to find my new balance. So I'm going to take the old balance of $28,897.75 and subtract away now we need to find out how much is going to reduce our principal. So we have to pay that interest first and our second partial payment was $11,300. So $11,300 is how much was paid. $325.10 has to be paid first. So that leaves $10,974.90 to go towards the principal. So our old principal was $28,897.75. And then we're able to reduce that by $10,974.90. So our new principal, or our new balance, is $17,922.85. And now we have to finish the loan to the end. Okay, we don't have any more partial payments, but we do have to go all the way to the end of the 105 days. So our I equals PRT. The principal is our new $17,922.85. Our rate this whole time has been 9%. And now let's calculate how many days to the end. We were on day 88, and there's 105 total. So 105 days total minus 88 days, and I end up with 17 days left. So here we have 17 days in this last section. And that gives me an interest of $76.17 on that last section of time. And now let's find out our balance due at maturity. 
So we still owed $17,922.85. We also owe the $76.17. So the balance due at maturity is going to be $17,999.02. So on that last day of the loan, that's how much is due. The last part of the question says find the total interest. I'm just going to highlight here all the interest payments. There were three of them. One, two, and then this third one at the end. So adding up our total interest, we're going to have the $397.75, $325.10, and also $76.17. And that gives us a total interest of $799.02. So the two parts we were asked was the balance due, and there's just under $18,000 still due on the loan after those two payments. And then there's a total interest for the whole life of the loan of not quite $800. Let's move on to question three. The loan below is paid in full before the date of maturity. Find the amount of unearned interest. Here's our unearned interest formula. Let's go ahead and get started. The finance charge is $422. That's our F. The total number of payments is going to be our P value. The remaining number of payments is going to be our N value. So let's start to apply it into this formula. The unearned interest, the interest that the bank has not earned because you paid the loan in full, is going to be that finance charge, $422 in the numerator, okay, times, and we've got a fraction N over P, N is 16 payments left, and P says that there were 30 total. I'm not going to worry about reducing that fraction until the very end because I'm going to get a dollar amount and I'm going to have to round my decimal then anyway. The next fraction is 1 plus N over 1 plus P. So if n was 16, one more than that is 17, and in our denominator of p was 30, one more than that is 31. I like to write this as one large fraction, 422 times 16 times 17 in the numerator, and 30 times 31 in the denominator. I tend to simplify the entire numerator all together, so 422 times 16 times 17, gives me a total of $114,784. And the denominator, 30 times 31, gives me $930. Now I can divide and I get an unearned interest of $123.42. And that's where that question had us stop. One more question for this section, number four. The blacktop printing made a $5,000 down payment on a special copy machine that was originally $23,800. That's the cash price. The loan agreement called for 20 monthly payments of $1,025 each. First, let's find the finance charge. The finance charge is the difference between the total money paid for the item minus its cash price. Okay. So let's find the total money paid for the item. Well, the total money paid for the item is 20 payments at $1,025 each. And so I'm going to keep this right here. The total money paid for the item is $20,500. Okay. Plus, there was a $5,000 down payment that the person made, so that's also part of the total paid. So all of this is the total paid, and so we get our total paid as $25,500, excuse me, $25,500 minus that cash price 
that we identified earlier, $23,800. So the difference between the total amount of money paid, the down payment and all payments together, and the cash price is the finance charge. And the finance charge in this case is going to be $1,700. Okay. Let's find the unearned interest if the loan is paying off after the 14th payment. Let's write down that formula again. U equals F for the finance charge, okay? Then it was N over P and N plus one over P plus one. Or you could have said that one plus N over one plus P, okay? So we found the finance charge, that was part A. Let's put that as part of our formula, 1,700 for our finance charge. For N, remember that N stands for the number of payments remaining. Well, if you paid it off after the 14th payment, and there should be 20 total, 14, excuse me, 20 minus 14 is going to be six payments left. And that's going to be our N. There are six payments left to go. The denominator said how many total payments there were, and there were 20. The next fraction is one plus that n. Well, if our n was six, it's now gonna be a, uh, one more is seven. And if we had 20, then one more is 21. And again, like the previous question, I like to write this as one big numerator and then put my two denominators together. So my numerator comes out to a total of 71,400 and my denominator, 20 times 21, comes out to 420. And then dividing is a total of $170 in unearned interest. One more part to go. Part C. Find the amount necessary to pay the loan in full after this 14th payment. So remember that there are six payments left. So let's calculate how much has to be paid for those six payments. So six payments, and back in the beginning we said that each payment was $1,025. So that's a total of $6,150 left to pay. But remember there's an unearned interest. The bank didn't earn this $170, you get to keep that, minus the $170 of unearned interest. So if we subtract, we get a total of $5,980 to pay in full. because we don't have to pay that unearned interest. The bank didn't earn us paying them that money.